Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is May. Uh, May? Wow, I said that yesterday too, almost. March 27th here in New York. Um, hit the like button, hit the su subscribe button, join me on Discord in the year 2024. Um, but basically, yeah, uh, I I don't think I've done an intro for these that often because I, I don't know. I don't usually have a new influx of viewers, but in case you're new, um, basically, whenever there's, um, you know, I do the daily problems, and when the daily problems are easy, I, or, just a problem that I've done before. Um, I do an extra problem because I'm trying to get my money's worth. But also, like, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, and uh, then you know we could get to a problem. And also for me, I like uh, I do an RNG thing, just randomly chosen a problem that I haven't seen yet on Leap Code, so that um, you know eventually I'll get through solving all of them. I guess at least algorithms. So uh, so yeah, let's get started uh, for this one today. We get an easy one, so hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, but 482 license key formatting. It's a easy problem. A lot of downloads. I don't know. They always have a lot of downloads. Is this a premium problem? I don't because I'm on the OUI, so I, I don't know that they show it. But um, right, either way, you're given a license key represented as a string S that consists of only alphanumeric characters and dashes. The string is separated into n plus one groups by n dashes. You're also given an integer k. We want to reformat the string S such that each group contains exactly K characters, except for the first group, which could be shorter than K, but still contain at least one character. Furthermore, there must be a dash inserted between two groups, and you should convert all lowercase letters to uppercase letters. I did not, I mean, I read that out loud, but I did not pause in my head any of this. Okay, let me try again. Uh, all right, there's only alphanumeric and dashes. You're given K, so that... Each group contains exactly k characters, okay, except for the first group, which can be shorter than k, but, okay. So then basically you're grouping them, and then, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so I mean, we just do this one at a time. This is uh, easy, but there's a lot of downloads, so, uh, so it probably has some weird edge cases. Um, I think the, the thing with these uh, formatting problems or... Kind of what I call rule set problems because you just follow the rules. There's nothing to think about. Um, I would I would say to be honest, um, I think people find it annoying uh, for obvious reasons to look at the downloads. But I would also say that uh, at least back in the day, uh, maybe not as much recently, um, or at least in my case, there's uh, back in the day, these kind of problems were uh, most of the interview problems, right? Because it just kind of quote unquote like resemble real life coding right and also to be honest in real life coding most of it, most of the stuff is cleaning up the data uh, especially if you're back in you know i keep saying back in the day but like i definitely did my my uh my share of uh, scalping scalping scraping scraping the the internet for for data and content and kind of have to clean everything up because that is most of the work uh with every if every data was if all the data is, you know, in a clean format, then we would not need to do this. But, you know, these things, that's just the way it is. But all right, let, let's, uh, I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward-ish, ideally. Um, the first thing I want to do is just remove all, all dashes so that we could rewrite the dashes, right? So then here we can write uh, S is equal to S dot replace, maybe just dashes to empty strings, right? Um, and then we, we also want to, um, I, I guess I might as well chain it which is to go to uppercase, right, to upper. I think that's it. I mean, I'm not done yet, but I just want to make sure that my, because I, I always forget, um, you know, there, there, there are a lot of Python functions. There's a Python function for everything, especially in string. So I just want to make sure that at least I got it right, because I didn't know it was upper uppercase, so I just want to make sure. But it seems like, you know, that's pretty much all we need. So then now we just need to do um, the dashes. Um, there is a, I think in Python there is um, um, there's a, in iter tools there's a group it's not group by but I forget what it's called uh, it's uh, hmm let's take a look real quickly it's not a group by but it's like uh, it's it's like a zip but no, not in a re reverse sip, maybe. Hmm. 
I don't know. Uh, maybe chain. No, not chain. I mean, chain could have done what we had, basically what we did. But uh, hmm. I'm just looking at the other tools, uh, which is also if you do something like this, you definitely almost always want to check out the other. I think it's in the other tools um, recipe, which I don't want to. You know, okay. But yeah, but definitely if, if you want to get better at Python, uh, Edit Tools is super helpful. Just check it out, right? Um, we're not going to do it for this one because, I don't know, because I, I, I don't want to spend time time just looking at the documentations, but also, yeah, this is the easy. We know how to do this, right? So yeah, um, I think that two ways to kind of clean this up. You can maybe think about it as, um, you know, you could do some math. Right, so now n is equal to length of s, and then you have like the I, I want to say I would call it leftover, right? Leftover is equal to uh, length of, oh, I guess n mod k, because basically that's leftover. So then now you can. Hmm. It's still kind of yucky. I think the the way that I want to do it, to be honest, is just reverse and then reverse. But that maybe is fine. I don't know. That that is definitely more expensive. But it's just like a little bit yucky, um, right? Because then now maybe we could write something like uh, oops, oops, oops. All right. So then now maybe I don't know. Let we write a for i loop, right? For i and range from we want to start at the leftover. Yeah, we want to start at the leftover. We want to end at n, and we want to increment by k every time, right? And then now, then we just append, uh, do, 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 right? Uh, going from, um, hmm, I guess I didn't really think this well. Should be uh, this should be the end point, but it should be like, eh, i minus k or something. But that that's like. I don't know, maybe I, I could add this with at max zero, but that's a little bit awkward. Um, and then at the end, you can just do 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 do, uh, 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 right? I don't know, I make a lot of sound effects for some reason. Um, hmm, seems like I, oh, uh, maybe I need n plus one then, fine. Okay, so there you go. Um, hmm. I mean, this is wrong because I guess for leftover is equal to zero, this starts at zero, which, so it appends an empty string. Hmm, how do I handle that? Or how do I want to handle it? Yeah. There's really no like nice way to do it. I mean, like I know I could add an if statement, but um, yeah, okay, fine. I, I don't know, All right? If i is greater than zero, right? I mean, I, I think that's mostly the idea. I mean, I, this is actually uglier than I would like, but uh, but I will stick with it. I think one thing that I would also say while, you know, this is a, uh, no wrong answer. Okay, yes, I actually am pretty proud about this one because I think the reason why there are a lot of downloads is that it's easy to make a mistake and or the other way around. Because it's easy to make a mistake, there are a lot of downloads from people getting annoyed and pissed that they made a mistake on, on this one, I think, right? Um, but yeah, one, one additional thing I want to say, and I say this uh, a couple of times, but I want to make it more explicit. I, th I think people, um, sometimes I forget to do it, so I, that's why I want to say it. But the reason why I kind of wrote it this way with the array, and then I pen it to an array and a join, is because this join operation is O of N, right? So join is O of N, right? Um, another way that you may think about doing it, uh, if you're not, you know, um, familiar with uh, Python in general, is that maybe you could have like, I don't know, what is it? Uh, let's say answer two is your empty string, and then you may write something like do, 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 uh, two. Uh, this thing, right? But and then you just return it later, right? But the, the reason why you don't want to do that is because this is deceptively n square. Uh, it's a way fast n square, but it's still n square, and sometimes you know it's going to screw you up, and that's why I almost don't do it. The reason why this is n square is that every time uh, uh, this is not um, 
this is not like a string buffer or something like this in other languages. What it looks like is that it actually you know converts this to this, but as a result of this, it it creates um, a new string every time. So in a really basic example is that let's say you just have a bunch of A's, um, yeah, right. Oh, I think you also have to add like the dash, but whatever. You, you, I'm not, that's not what I'm explaining, right? So then first you start with an empty string, and then now you have a string of one and a string of two characters, and then basically all these characters are created one at a time. And of course, you can kind of see this. You know, it goes one plus two plus three plus four, and then this sums to n square, and it sums to a really bad performance running time wise on your code, even if it passes and. You know, on, on harder problems, it might not even pass. On easy, I don't know. Maybe it does. I'm not going to try it though. But, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. That's all I have for this one, though. I just want to point that out because I think I, I spot that mistake a couple of times on my Discord. Um, uh, when people are talking about it, I just want to, you know, show it to everybody. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. This is, uh, this is linear time. I guess linear space because the size of the output is going to be linear space, right? So you can't really do better than that. And linear time because you have to look at each character. But uh, yeah, so the replace is going to be linear time. The upper is also a linear time thing. And this is obviously a linear time thing. It's just like a, a loop, right? So yeah, that's why I have this one. Let me know what you think. Yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.